This actually started in 2013 when we took No Fire Zone to Malaysia. We showed it first of all to a group of MPs in Parliament. They were very grateful we'd showed them it and very shocked by what they saw. Um, and that evening we were due to show it to a large invited audience in, in a hall in Kuala Lumpur. But uh, before even the screening began, the organisers, a local human rights group, came under pressure from the Sri Lankan embassy not to show the film. They obviously resisted that pressure, went ahead with the screening, and the screening was raided uh, by 30 police officers and censorship board officials, Malaysian officers, apparently at the behest of the Sri Lankan government. Um, uh, the, the, the charges, which were then arrested, uh, uh, levelled against the organisers, including uh, Lena Henry here, um, was that she'd broken the Malaysian censorship laws, appalling draconian laws which mean that the, you, you cannot uh, uh, show or even technically possess a film if it hasn't been approved by the Malaysian censorship board. Um, this would actually apply to wedding videos, strictly speaking, but of course it's actually used uh, for political censorship, uh, and in this case political censorship at the behest of the then Sri Lankan government. Um, Lena faces up to three years in jail uh, and, and a fine of up to £5,000 uh, for showing this human rights documentary. Um, uh, and she's been fighting that, those charges now for, for three years, more than three years. Um, What's made it worse is that last year she was actually acquitted and then six months later they uh, reversed the acquittal. Uh, and then last month uh, she was found guilty and she's due to be sentenced on the 22nd of March. And that's why we're trying to uh, uh, raise as much awareness of what's happening because the, the world needs to tell Malaysia that we are watching and that we're really shocked and appalled by, by uh, this, this dreadful denial of, of free speech. Um, we're encouraging people to use the, the hashtag DefendLena and to go on social media uh, and to uh, complain about these appalling charges uh, and if through that you can actually find tweets that will give you some of the background as well. Uh, and we're also organising a, a picket of the Malaysian High Commission in London uh, on Thursday the 9th, this Thursday at 6 o'clock and we'd encourage people to come to that to bring banners uh, demanding that the charges against Lena be dropped uh, and that uh, that uh, this shameful uh, law, uh, uh, this shameful censorship be stopped.